Oh, Katie, what do we have? Guys, oh, it's udon time. You want meat? No. Just sit, just, just straight? Just straight udon. Okay. Plain, back to the basic. Okay, I want mine a little fancy. Really? So, yeah, I'm gonna pick out a little bit of our ingredients. We got bean sprouts. We got this yubu. Ah, we were gonna save that to make the yubu chobab. All right, let's use this. Uh, we got some mushrooms and then take it out, please. Be quick, it's cold. I'm <laughs> uh, Antarctica over here. Yes, let's go, guys. Oh, that's the sign. Do you wanna build a snowman? <gasps> oh, wow. Neighbors, check it out. It's finally snowing properly in Korea. This is what I'm talking about. We were supposed to go to the mart by driving, but right now is not the time to be driving, so we're gonna walk. I'm not sure which recipe we're gonna do, but probably something very hot. Where's Katie? <laughs> you gotta move your arms up and down. There you go, and your head left to right. Ah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Neighbors, take a look at this little trail behind our house with the snow. It looks like where the, the wicked witch of the west lives. Oh, we gotta get some snow off your head. Let's continue. So after having some fun in the snow, we finally made it to the mart. It was 9.01, but we forgot that all the marts are closing at 9 o'clock because of the coronita. Aigo, time to go back. Guys, today I'm gonna show you a very easy way to make udon that strikes at the heart, makes you feel so good. Katie, give me that sauce. Says, this one is chu. No, this one is su. Ah, su, o su ya. No, this is not o, this is hon. <laughs> hon su yu. I didn't learn this yet. What's going on? Who's here? I think the snowman came to life. We use this as a soup base. It's soy sauce that's boiled with katsuyobushi, the bonito flakes. Just get a bottle. Oh, we already ate half. Yeah, this goes quickly. And even though that thing has some dried bonito flakes, you want to get some katsuyobushi. I right? love this one. You're craving okonomiyaki, huh? Mm. Yeah, we should make it sometime too. Just a small handful because we're going to do a one person serving. Somehow yeah. these days I've been craving udon at more at night time. Mm -hmm. because it makes me feel less guilty compared yeah. to let's say ramen yeah because ramen the noodles are deep fried mm. we want to chop up some green onions and i like to get them very small i feel very lucky because i bought this the other day because i wanted to make some yubu chobap in japanese it's inari sushi it's just tofu skin but if you throw this into udon it tastes awesome so all of these toppings that i show you today are optional pick one pick all pick none. A lot of times the soup base is good enough. We just throw some fresh green onions and we just enjoy the noodles straight at nighttime. That's it. Keep it simple. You see, these are the tofu skins. I think three pieces are good enough for one person. And this has been soaking in some sweet juice. So I like to squeeze that out for our udon. Katie, do you want these whole or do you want them chopped up into strips? Uh, good question. I'll just keep them whole. All right, and then for the udon noodles, I like to just get the noodles only. And make the sauce at home. That's right. It's cheaper that... It tastes, it tastes better. Yeah, because you get to control the saltiness and yeah. then how much... So I actually prefer the frozen udon noodles. You might not have frozen udon noodles. It might come like this. Actually, we have both. Sometimes it comes in the refrigerator section. This has a little bit of water and oil on it. So before you cook this, I usually just soak it in some cold water so that oil on the noodle can come off. But if you use frozen, you can just skip that step. And that's all we need. I think that one snow defeated your Corona blues. <laughs> <laughs> we want two and a half cups of water. One, two, and another half. And for either Korean or Japanese stock broth, we always use some um, kelp. If you don't have this, you can completely skip it. Heat on. And then the small handful of... How do you say this? Dadaima? I keep forgetting it. What was the name? <laughs> what was it? I forgot. Gatsuobushi. Gatsuobushi desu ne. So desu ne. So, josu janai. Honto ni josu janai. Atama ga baka. Once it comes to boil, I'm going to take out... I'm going to just scoop everything out. And now for our suyu sauce. I usually just go by feel, but let's see. One tablespoon is good, two tablespoons is good. And that's like the base layer of flavor. The mid-tones, I like to grab a little bit of kanjang. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of soup soy sauce. 
You can just use like a teaspoon's worth. Good. Then our noodles straight in. Woo! Look at it relaxing into the onsen. Do you feel it coming? I feel it coming. I feel it coming. Gosh, we're so bad at singing. I feel it coming. You guys might be curious where Katie is. She grabbed the chair. All right, we're gonna give it a few minutes for this udon to get cooked through. Woo! This broth looks amazing already. Neighbors, I'm telling you, next time you're at the Asian Mart, pick up that, Katie, what was it called? Tadaima? Tadaima, That's suyu. Honsuyu sauce. Honsuyu sauce. And you can make this in minutes. We'll turn down the heat. We wanna put the noodles in the center. We put a lot of green onions to one side and that's going to give that refreshing lift plus that nice color. Oh and then our yubu gosh. or in Japanese, the inari. And Katie will do the last piece. So nice. Get out of here, you little... And the Japanese have their little spicy powder seasoning. Japanese cannot do spice. Trust... Their gochukaru. Yeah, when I was living in Japan, I craved Korean spice so bad. But just a little bit on top. There this is, is nice for udon. All right, and there it is. This is our favorite way to eat udon at nighttime. Great! Let's give it both a taste. Look at the broth color. Mm, this is the taste of Japan. You like it? I love it. Wow, I want to taste so the good. yubu. Just go for it. All right, well, might as well use this chair. So making udon is very simple, right? You can make it as complicated as you want. You can like make the broth like seven layers deep with all sorts of ingredients, or you can make it at midnight just using the key ingredients. Now, Kate is the type when she's like reading a menu and I pick uh, one that has a lot of meat in it or it's meat focused, she always goes, oh, there's too much meat. But as soon as it comes out, she's the one reaching over and eating everything. So we'll see what happens today. Let me do the simple version that I like to make, version number two. I'm gonna grab a few ingredients from the freezer. I want you guys to check out our snowman. <laughs> Katie, stretch out your back. <laughs> Don't work too hard. <laughs> oh, this Get the heat back on, the kale pieces or dashima, and then let's throw in a shiitake mushroom. The stem part is great for broth, it has a lot of flavor, but I like to trim off that end part because it has a little bit of dirt. Very good. And then just a small handful of katsuobushi. We'll mix that baby in, let it come up to a boil. All right, and then once it comes to boil, I'm gonna take out the shiitake mushroom. We're gonna use it for a topping. Scoop this out. Then same thing, two tablespoons of the suyu sauce. That's one. Two, very nice. Then one teaspoon of soup soy sauce or regular soy sauce, doesn't matter. One teaspoon in. Pulled out some of that leftover shabu shabu meat that I have. I'm gonna just put a few in so that it can flavor this broth. Oh, I know you guys can already sense where I'm going with this. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna do around five strips, should be good enough. All right, just a few seconds and its flavor has been transferred to the broth. I'm going to stack this on later, so I'm going to take this out right now. And while that comes back up to boil, we can quickly slice the shiitake mushroom. We'll cut this into very small pieces, perfect for a topping. The oils from the beef is going to rise to the surface. Definitely want to skim this off for a cleaner tasting broth, which I like. And now to this, let's add in our udon noodles. Let's give it some time in the onsen as well. Go ahead and chill out. Forget all the things that happened to you during this day. And in Japan, they'll drop in an onsen egg, which is kind of like a poached egg. But that's a whole nother recipe in itself. We're hungry and this is nighttime cooking. So what we'll do, crack one egg and we'll drop it in. Cover it for around 30 seconds. All right, and then you guys ready? Remember our beef that we took out? We'll put to one side. Then our shiitake mushrooms. Yes. Then I have some mung bean sprouts. These are not soybean sprouts, mung bean. All right, play it on top. And then of course, let's give it some color. Yes, 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 yes. A little bit on the side. Are you sad that you ate yours already? Wow, you this... upgraded your udon. Yeah, we can pop this just a little bit. Wow. All right. This if is you... not a udon, this is a Super Bowl. Does it taste the same? Hopefully it tastes better. <laughs> More effort. Yeah. Let me give it a taste. 
Wow, I like this better. <laughs> yeah. It tastes so different. Yeah, because, because of the meat, right? Yeah, it adds another layer of flavor, right? Definitely gonna add more spice. Yeah, 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 the Korean way. If you're hungry at nighttime, make yourself some homemade udon. It's very simple. Wow, this is so good. Why are you eating with your jacket on? 